Hello everyone, for this video I'll be showing you how to enable the use of AWS GameLift Client Services SDK in your Unity project. This setup will be performed on a Mac, but if you're looking for Windows instructions, it should still be helpful. Go over to the AWS GameLift SDK's documentation page and scroll down to Real-Time Servers. Hit Download on the Real-Time Client SDK. You could use the Custom Game Servers option if that is suitable for your project, but we'll stick with the Real-Time Servers for simplicity. Unzip the download and move it somewhere where you can perform some builds. And note, this doesn't have to be part of your Unity project. Go to the Integrating a Game Client page and copy over the basic real-time client example into a new file in your Unity project. Notice it does not recognize the AWS imports. That's the goal here to get these working. Next, open the readme file from the downloaded real-time client SDK. These will be the instructions we'll be using for this session. So take a look here at the requirements. Most of them should be installed already if you have Visual Studio on your computer. Otherwise, you'll have to install them manually. Let's open up the solution file that's in the top level of the real-time client download. If we run project restore NuGet packages, you'll notice that it doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna show you what I did to fix it. Switch over to the terminal window and go to the top level of the download directory. Run NuGet restore with no cache and non-interactive options. This is something I found on Stack Overflow that seems to force install the dependencies. Go back into the solution project, hit Project Restore NuGet Packages. You should now see that the packages are successfully restored. Now that we have our dependencies in order, we have to build the project to get our drivers for Unity. I didn't have CMake installed, so I went and grabbed the installer over at CMake.org. Once CMake is installed, go back to your terminal window and go to the native directory. Run CMake space dot. Then after that completes, run make. Once complete, go back into the solution project and hit build. The files generated here will be used inside our Unity project. They are located under the top level folder, GameLift Real-Time Client SDK Net 45 slash bin slash debug. There's a line in the readme to add an environment variable if you're using mono. I did not need to do this, so we'll skip that. Now in the Unity project, create a new directory called plugins. Copy over the .dll files into this directory. Back in Visual Studio Code, verify the AWS imports are now recognized. Finally, I'll run the game to make sure we don't have any compilation errors. And there it is. Reply with any questions or comments below the video. Thanks for watching.